Welcome, everybody, to the Collider Flash Recap Show. Do not adjust your sets. <laughs> do not adjust your mobile devices. Do not adjust your computers. I am John Rogat, not John Campia. <laughs> Campia's at a premiere, uh, but we are here to discuss the awesome show that was on tonight. The Flash was so good. Episode seven, season two, Guerrilla Warfare. Ah. So it was pretty awesome. We had so we have so much to talk about, so much to get to. But first, you know my name. Let's get the name of everybody else here on the panel because we're gonna throw down tonight. <laughs> to my right, you're a much better girl than Tyrese. Just <laughs> let you know what. Just let you know. Here we go. What's up, guys? Corey K in the house. What up? <laughs> <laughs> on my left here, we have the venerable. Oh. Wendy Lee. Good evening, salutations, everybody. I am not John Campia. I am, in fact, Wendy Lee. Yes. And on the far left. This show is off to a great start. <laughs> <laughs> I'm David Griffin, Mr. Roca's brother from another mother. That's right. We're going to get canceled after this. Come one. on, no, don't say that. <laughs> no, this was okay. an awesome episode. I think we're all on a high because it was such a good episode from uh, start to finish. There was so much that happened, so much that went down. We had so much more going on with the storylines. And then we had the introduction of Grodd, which was something we've all been waiting for. And John Campia, you missed a good one because like, you've been crying for Grodd all season <laughs> and he showed up and you're not here tonight. So yes. unfortunately, we'll try to pick up the slack as much as we can for you. For you. So, all right. Let's just start with the things that we enjoyed about the episode. Let's just do that. Wendy, you want to start us off? Yeah, sure. What did uh, you like about the episode? Grant, just seeing Grant. It's been a long, this is the first time he's appeared in this season. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I just can't get enough of him. I think he is just fantastic. I think he can kick ass. And it kind of led to exactly where I thought it was going to go. But I actually, well, I wanted it to show the show to go, but I didn't think it would. Gorilla City. Yeah. So seeing that at the end, I was just like, Okay. Okay. What does this mean? I have no idea. I'm really excited about that. Um, I love seeing more of Kendra. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. We all know Hawk. Is a Hawk girl or Hawk woman? Girl. I think it's Hawk, Hawk girl. girl. Yeah. Her yeah. outfit looked more Hawk girl to me. Love that. And uh, props to Cisco with the one liner every week. He just crushes it every week. Like if I had, you know. Would he woo you? <laughs> for breakfast. I don't know. That's finally a girl on panels. I was wondering, would he woo you? I said, would he, he, he woo you? You know what? I think in the beginning, he'd be like, no. He'd be like, go, mm, you're okay. But he's clever <laughs> and he's witty. Wow. So, well, <laughs> wow. She has what? Well, I'm going to be honest. All right. <laughs> yeah, just, you said you had a taste for Latino guys before, so, so it might work. Except you know? I'm married. So. Except you are married. Yeah, yes, absolutely. So don't send the flowers. Yeah. Uh, and uh, last what else thing, did you like? Yeah, last thing is Henry came back. Yes. Even though it was yeah. short lived, I, I I love him and I wish he never left. And I'm so glad that he came back for this episode. Yeah, such a good actor, John Wesley um, Ships. Always awesome mm -hmm. to see him because you always get that every time he shows up. You always have these awesome <laughs> scenes with him, and then you always have you always have the uh, evocative nature of the fact that he was Flash in the '90s. So it's always nice yeah. to see the kind of games that they play. Kyrie, what did you like about? The Obviously, I like the gorilla. Yeah. Uh, Grodd was awesome. The ending was great. Uh, a lot of King Kong things going on with there. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Caitlyn dressed in white, like Naomi was dressed in white in the movie, as we all like, oh, what up? This is happening. Did you really think cool. at one point he was going to do the classic King Kong thing and pick her no, up? No, he's not and... big enough, though. No. You know. That would have been, he wanted him to like grab her and just kind of, oh. that symbolism, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I didn't think that was going to happen, but it was really good to see Grodd. Uh, he is a really great villain, but not a villain, because he's... Yeah. Totally, totally misunderstood. Uh, I like that, and I also really enjoyed. Now I'm brain farting. Um, dang it! Uh, oh yes, of she got course, <laughs> Doctor Well. Yes. As always, he steals the show, and every single mm -hmm. scene that he's in, you are just captivated by him and everything that he does. And I, I, I just think the actor is just amazing. Yeah, Kavanaugh is fantastic for that. I think that's what's great about him is that he. He seems so relaxed no matter what scene is in, no matter what's happening. He seems, he's such a professional that he's, it's so natural no matter what's happening, what's going on, no matter what state of disarray his clothes are in, mm -hmm. he plays with it so well. And I think that's that's so impressive to see in an actor and so impressive to see in an ensemble how much he can stick Speaking out. Speaking of a great moment was yeah. him trying to imitate the other yeah. Dr. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 Cisco's yeah. like, up the creep factor, but also care at the same yeah, time. Be sincere. Yeah. be sincere, but creepy at the same time. And then when he did it, he's nailed that line. Did yeah. we all get the yeah, creeps so when awesome. he actually got it? Like, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, oh, yeah. I was yeah. like, sure. oh, yeah. who else is back? Well, yeah. how about the music switched and we knew that was coming, mm -hmm. but yeah. yeah, it was really good. And also Cisco's reaction, he was like, Oh, okay, that's yeah, that's good because of you know what happened before, so mm -hmm. bringing all that back. Was yeah. there anything else, Carter? Well, also, I mean, I'm not gonna, I don't want to steal all your positives, but 
the, the <laughs> go ahead, girl. The little inkling of uh, you know Wally West and oh, yeah. the yes. brother situation at yeah. the end. It's like, ooh, because we we mm-hmm. haven't talked about that in maybe two episodes. Yeah, so it's fine. he's out there somewhere. Yeah, he's out there coming mm. up, yeah. coming for us. What about you, David? Uh, I loved. Uh, what do you mean? I have to go off you. I love the uh, Kendra Saunders moments. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> Cisco, <laughs> this is my voice. Uh, Cisco's so first first date, which yeah. is almost well, it was ruined. Because he got a vibe. Yeah. He got a yeah. bad vibe yeah. again. But I love that they're going to go see Princess Bride. And I love that he came back strong, bringing her flowers and chocolates. Yeah. And then she's playing with him, being like, well, I'm allergic to chocolate and flowers are a waste of money. But then it happened to be a good thing. They're going to go up on the roof. I love how everybody always has access to the roof. Yeah. Like, I, 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 we live in LA. I can't get to any roof. I mean, I can't get to the roof of my own. But like, how do you get to a roof? Everybody's got access to the roof. Let's go to the roof. I, I, where is the roof? It's on fire. Man. Obviously, it's in Central City. Yeah. So you get access to the roof. So I'm happy for them. That was a great moment. And then what we talked about earlier, I, I just love Wells, especially that conversation between Cisco and Wells, trying to get the voice right, getting that down. Uh, tense moment. Grodd's moments were good, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was a little bit re- funny watching him chase Barry, you know, as fast uh-huh. as Barry is. But yeah. that was kind of a cool moment, too. And then Barry doing the big punch, yeah. the speed punch, speed you know, punch, knocking yeah. him into the other uh, Earth, too. So that was cool. Yeah. I have to good go. Special yes. Yes. Good, special good special effects. I'm sorry. Yeah, absolutely. Great special Absolutely. Effects. Yeah. absolutely. Yeah. I have to go with the, just about everything you guys said I agree with. But I also thought there was uh, I loved Barry in the wheelchair. You it did. really evoked the Wells thing. I was That's just thinking true. that too. Yeah, for me, that was like, oh, this is interesting. This is kind of because a lot of people think that Barry, or Earth 2 Barry, might be Zoom. Mm-hmm. And so to see him in that wheelchair kind of evokes an, a villain like mm-hmm. Reverse Flash was, you know? And so it's got this kind of game that he's playing, which I enjoyed a lot. The Grodd stuff, absolutely. I I like that they've, they're catching Grodd at this stage of his maturation or creation as a, as a creature. Mm-hmm. What Caitlin said was really powerful, which is like, it's not his fault. You know, he mm-hmm. was created this way and he's still discovered, he's getting smarter. So we don't have full Gorilla Grodd yet, which I think is awesome because it gives us so much more to go and to play with. And then we, uh, you know, we can see where he well, ends up with as a character. Gorilla, Gorilla, Gorilla City. City, like how smart is he going to be compared to the yeah. rest of them? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because Wells said this is an area where gorillas go who have been, you know, yeah. had yeah. their brains messed with. Yeah. Right. But how, how smart is he? Is he going to be the king? I mean, the way yeah. he kind of made that roar at the end, I was like, oh, this is his town now. Yeah. It's like he's taking Planet over. of the Apes, you know? Yeah. Right. They're going to find a way Caesar. to come back. Oh, yeah. I, I think they're going to invade oh, yeah. Earth One. I'm saying they're going to invade Earth One. Zoom's definitely happen. coming back to that. I mean, uh, a gorilla is definitely coming back to that. He's going to bring a gorilla army with him. Yes. Hold that, Caitlin. Because, you know, Caitlin did mention. Yeah, oh, Caitlin I feel would be bad. okay. I, but, yeah. She was worried that she betrayed him, yeah. which she kind of did, but yep. he's not yeah. going to understand it. So I, I wonder if he runs into Caitlin Snow in Earth 2, if she's Killer Frost. Killer Frost. Yeah, yeah in Earth yeah. 2, and maybe they all come back over. Mm-hmm. Through the portal with Zoom, so awesome anything's possible. Finale, if that happens, oh, yeah. <laughs> that happens in the finale. The other thing I like too was the ring at the end. That uh, yeah. that usage of the ring, because we know from the comics that's how the Flash eventually learned how to do it. it was popping out, and he put the costume on as he was running. We'll so say, it was you nice know, something to, about microbiology yeah, or something yeah. like that. Yeah. So yeah, yeah microtechnology. Make technology, Zoom was great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so those are the things we liked. Is there anything you didn't like about the episode? Well, Cowrie, yeah, I, <laughs> go mean, ahead. I always like to pick you first. He's ready. I will go first. I I guess. This is me being nitpicky, but I feel that romance in Central City is a little too easy, man. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I don't know. I, I mean, L.A. is it's a bitch in today. And <laughs> you, 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 you can't get to the roof in L.A. You, you can't, can't watch movie on the roof. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Peace, talking, I go to movies on the roof all the time. You got Patty and you buried. They went on one date. They made out behind a pillar after she was talking about babies. And now they decided <laughs> to commit to each other, even though he kind of messed up by lying to her, even though she understands it, yeah. which I understand that she understands it, but it's like, Really? And then Cisco gets with this coffee, this hot coffee chick really quick. Yeah. So I'm just like. She forgave him real quick. Like really it was quick. a cute moment where like from like say anything, you know, yeah. that, that yeah. classic basket. Well, it's not a boom box, but. And then she was just like, uh-huh. I am allergic to chocolates and flowers are a waste of money. Uh-huh, just kidding. Okay, we're good. Let's kiss. And she kissed him she right kissed away. She kissed him. So, yeah. I mean, that being said, that's the only thing that I think is not really that credible in the show is how quick people fall in love with each other. Yeah. If it was that easy, guys. <laughs> are we yeah, still talking about the show? Obviously, there's some love burn <laughs> yeah. here. But, yes, that's my negative. Okay. <laughs> Wendy, what about you? Uh, <laughs> The Cisco thing, I have to agree with her. And then mm. when... Uh, 
the scene with Grog. Grog? Yes, Grog. <laughs> oh, yeah, Grog. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Saying things wrong. Uh, you know how they had those like anti-mind control earpieces? Oh, yeah. So obviously sticking out of wells. And this is a small technical thing. Oh, but yeah. So obviously they mm. weren't just like in there. They were like out here. Right. And Grog being like the intelligent gorilla, wouldn't you think he would have noticed? Right. Yeah. They didn't even try to hide it. Right. So that, that really bugged me. Um, Harry, and I understand why Harry, wow. Um, Barry, just <laughs> <laughs> his whining and just very mopey throughout the episode. Mm-hmm. Like, I understand he's healing and now he's kind of got PTSD. His back was broken. It's terrible. He was yeah. defeated, but it, he was like the mopey the entire, almost the entire episode. And I got a little fed up with him. And then one last thing is uh, I wanted more of Henry and I didn't want him to leave. Yeah. And mm-hmm. at the end of the episode, he was just like, all right, well, I'm going to go. And everybody's just so understanding. Like, yeah. nobody tried to convince him, hey, can you just like, yeah, I think you said yeah. it. Like, can you just stay the weekend? Yeah. Oh no, no David you said, said that. It. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's true. He gotta catch the bus. I mean, Barry <laughs> can't. <laughs> Barry can't pick him up and take him somewhere. He gotta take the bus. <laughs> like, Sorry, really? Dad. The slowest means of transportation. <laughs> this was an interesting <laughs> they, episode. They for gotta be normal human beings. That's true. Yeah, 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 for yeah, human yeah. relationship, this was a really right. interesting episode. Well, the second thing you brought up is interesting because it was basically almost a flashless episode. Because yes. he only mm-hmm. showed up right at the end. Yeah, mm-hmm. he was doing stuff on the treadmill and whatever, but he didn't show up till he's the end. He's not still fully recovered. Yeah. Because Grodd knocked not. him out you right. know, Actually, for a little while. Actually, there was a moment, and uh, Josh Makuga pointed this out. He was watching it with us. He said, so Barry's on a treadmill, but then he's walking with the cane right now. It's mental, man. It's all mental, man. It's all mental. You know how men are? It's all mental. Um, <laughs> David, what, what, did, what did you not like about that? I, I, I have some issues of probably about one of the more touching moments of the episode, which is beautifully done, and that is Grant Gustin and uh, John Wesley Ship and their oh, conversation yeah. mm-hmm. about Barry becoming a hero and over you know, conquering yeah. things and then embracing what people, the negatives people say about you. Yeah. So uh, for his dad, it was, you know, the murder of his of his mom, and yeah. he embraced that. He owned that. And it's such a nice moment. Great acting by both actors. Yeah. But I'm getting a little tired of the motivational speeches yes. every mm. single episode. Yeah, They're it, so well done, too, so it's hard to criticize because the actors are doing such a good job in those yeah. moments, but every episode there's a moment when somebody's down, and then somebody comes along, and they give them an emotional speech, and they get back up, and they... Make it happen. Yeah. They do it. It's just getting a little bit tiresome. I feel like this particular motivational speech was one that's already been said before. Yeah. You know, yeah. whether it's in The Flash previously or to Stephen Amell, you know, living up, to, owning up to being Arrow. And, and yeah. So, yeah, I, I totally get what you're saying. I, th- I think you're right, David. I mean, because they're good, they're good scenes. Yeah. It's just it's a little... Well, because you've got yeah. good actors. Yeah. But the dialogue maybe is not necessarily on point. Like that whole thing when Barry got knocked down and, mm-hmm. and his dad got on, he's like, you can do it, Barry. Get, get up, up, Barry. Barry. Get up, get Barry. Up. You know, you were yeah. like, yeah. that's all you got to tell him? Like, yeah. it seems like there'd be something more there. And it, it's really weird because those moments were so touching in the first season. Because Wells like, did it all the time. Right. Like, yeah. You'd whisper, mm-hmm. like, right. Barry, yeah. I believe you can do this. And it's yeah. Just, yeah. But also the, the moments with his dad in mm-hmm. the prison, it seemed like the stu- it seemed like for some reason having him out of the prison loses the effect mm-hmm. of having these motivational speeches because it starts to become a little mm-hmm. rote. You yeah. know, and you're like, well, what's what's the problem? Mm-hmm. So that may be the reason why they don't have him on the show that much. They may be the reason why they're shipping him off all the time, uh, so to speak, you, shipping him yeah, off all the time. Yeah, you see the other shows, you know? like Arrow, you know, Diggle yeah. will be like, clear the room. Yeah. You know, we got to talk. We need to break this down. It's just, it, maybe it's just a trope they use in the CW shows, but yeah. you're starting to see it a lot. So you are. Thing. And I agree with you. Otherwise, that was a great episode. That was a fantastic episode. Yeah, I agree with what you guys said. The the Patty Spiff stuff bothered me a little bit because... Chicken noodle soup? Yeah, because <laughs> I'm kind of... I'm a, On this panel, I am the biggest fan of Patty Spiff and that relationship. I don't have a problem with it. I think, I think it works. cute. I know. I okay, cute, good. Yeah. Why point at me? Because you know, you know the face you make when they show up. <laughs> <laughs> she gets that sour look on her face. Oh... And, but for me, I like the relationship and what's building here. I just thought this this episode took a step back in there, because like, she gave she forgave him like that, and I think that was a moment for her to have a stronger point of view, a stronger mm. stance against him. And I thought that's he was, my point. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what I was gonna yeah, say. That's her really point. Crazy. It's too easy. Yeah, and I yeah. thought he was going to reveal. Actually, thought in that moment he was gonna tell her he was flashed. Well, she didn't do much in this episode. She was almost just there to service. Like, uh, I got some ghosts going on back there. <laughs> He's almost there just to be like, hey, don't forget about Patty. Don't forget yeah. she has a girlfriend now. Don't forget about her because she really didn't do much this episode. Yeah, she yeah. works hard though. That girl works hard. Yeah, Patty. She's at the crime scene before anybody uh, oh, else. Yeah, that I kind of feel hard. bad for her sometimes as an because, actress or the character. As the character, okay. because like mm. her and Joe are supposed to be partners on this task force thing, and then last week she kept on trying to break that wall with him mm-hmm. like uh, are you are you mad at me or what right. are you not telling me and what about the doctor lighting he's like no i can't tell you and no just forget about it yeah but just trust me 
oh, okay. And then the same thing with Barry too, you know. So I feel like I, they're gonna have to bring her in sooner or later. Yeah. I think I think it's um, leaving way for her to maybe possibly betray them because she's gonna feel so offended yeah. and oh. upset that she's mm. always left in the dark Woman and always scorned. With it. Yeah, so mm. <sighs> that'd be so stereotypical. But I mean, it's certainly well, in play. Oh, oh. It's certain. No, I'm saying the whole idea of a, a woman doing that because she got. I mean, I'd rather than making a more proactive decision. But right. that's that's certainly in play from what they're laying down the groundwork throughout mm -hmm. the show and throughout their interactions. You know, mm -hmm. so who knows? Who can say? Um, I think she does a great job as an actress, like dealing mm -hmm. with the same moment over and over again, because she is constantly not being told the truth, <laughs> constantly being like pushed away mm -hmm. by Joe or pushed away by, and she's always having that moment on the phone where she gets off. She's like. She has that double moment and then gets off the phone and you're just like, man, she's doing a great job making that realistic because that must be annoying to constantly keep doing that <laughs> as an actor. She'll crack at some point. She'll crack. Yeah, she'll, <laughs> yeah, see, she you'll will. see the break. She'll crack. You'll she's see like, the break. I know you didn't stand me up again. Yeah, it's going to happen. Because she's, she's a strong woman. Yeah, she and is. She's a strong character, but how easily she was able to um, forgive Barry yeah. even though he gave her a pretty valid yet fake reason. Yeah. It, was, it weakens her as yeah. a woman. It also um, weakens the relationship yeah. in the long run. So that yeah. kind of bothered me. Obviously. I agree with that. All right. Well, that's. I think we've torn the episode to pieces, <laughs> shall we? And, and and also like talked about how much we like. Let's get to the Twitter questions. Once again, if you guys inter want to interact with us or you want to send us questions, tweet at us and always put uh, the hashtag Collider Flash that you see there at the bottom. Collider Flash. And we will possibly pick one of your <laughs> tweets and talk about it because we love hearing from you guys. I think you guys know we all tweet back as much as we can and interact with you all, which we love to do. So. Wendy, yes. will you read us our first Twitter question? I will. And this first one comes from CabooseXBL. <laughs> and he or she writes, do you think... <laughs> <laughs> you never know. <laughs> yeah, you know. Do you think Earth 2 Wells has proven he is now a good guy or do you think he still has a hidden agenda? Um, I think those are two questions in a way because I think he He's definitely does have a... There. Yeah, he has a hidden agenda for yes. sure. Yes. Um, I think Wells is, uh, whether he's in Earth 1 or 2, Earth a million. Um, <laughs> he, he, so, he's, he's only 52. I know, 52. <laughs> but look, okay, anything's possible. It's TV. Um, I, I think that he will always have a hidden agenda no matter what realm he comes from. Yeah. Was that a Mortal Kombat reference? Realm? Sure. Earth realm? Mortal okay. Kombat! <laughs> um, and what was the first question? The uh, Has he now proven that he's a good guy? Yeah. I think for now. For now. For now. And, yeah, yeah, innocent and proven guilty. Yeah. Okay. I mean, he risked his life to save Caitlyn, so. We right. talked about his theory a little bit because, remember, they're going to start closing down all the portals yeah. except for the one underneath the lab in order to trap <laughs> Zoom. Yeah. So that's kind of interesting. Well, he keeps on saying that he... Uh, He's trying to figure out this algorithm on where mm -hmm. all the breaches are closing in Earth right. 1 versus Earth 2. I think personally that he actually knows where it's leading to oh. and he's hiding it from them. Mm -hmm. There's just like, I love him, you know, as a character and as an actor, but there's something always a little bit of shady, a little bit mm -hmm. untrusting with him. I yeah. mean, I think what it comes down to, I'm sorry, I keep going in, in there, but <laughs> I think that you can trust him unless it has to do with his daughter and he right. would yes. easily. Right. That's very, right. that and was she just, comes first in his yeah. world. Yeah, that was just what I, did, did you want to? Oh no, I was just curious, can we, sorry, I was clear about throwing No, no, I know, I can <laughs> tell. <laughs> I can tell. Um, yeah, David um, got something to say. Yeah, I got something to say. Um, <laughs> we got to talk about this one thing real quick. Fans, I'm curious, you know, what you think. How does, how does Wells pay for things? Is his visa card? <laughs> is his visa card still good over here? I mean, he's at a bar. He's getting drinks. Like, is the That's currency the point. same? I mean, does his visa still work? It's I mean, a valid point, this, man. I mean, I just want to know how is he paying for things? Somebody give him a loan. Is he getting some petty cash from Star Labs? Like, right. a little side yeah. business going on. Just, just, just curious. Just one of those things. Just curious. Yeah. It's an IOU wherever he goes. <laughs> how much was in his wallet when he made the jump? Um, yeah, I agree with what you what you were just saying. Um, I'm sorry. Will you remind me what you were just saying? No. As I agree with you, I just. I forgot it because I, I know in my mind I agree with it and then that, I forgot it. Oh, that's so good. You can trust him unless <laughs> yes, has his daughter. To Jesse, yeah, when it has to do with Jesse Quick, I think there's a whole other ball game that he's playing with. Mm -hmm. The fact that he wanted to leave at the beginning of the episode and Caitlin had to talk him out of it lets you know the guy has other stuff going on. I think he's essentially a good person if mm -hmm. you fit within what he needs to do. Yeah. Right. And, and when he was at the bar and he's like, "Well, Caitlin talked me into it," and blah blah blah. Like or after the bar, he'd said mm -hmm. that to I think it was to Cisco or to, to Barry when he said Caitlin talk me into staying and thank God she did because I could work this out but it's only because it fits within what he's trying to do ultimately right. which is understand the breaches and use the breaches to kill Zoom or to get mm. rid of Zoom and find Jesse all right let's get to the next Twitter question all right next one comes from Tyler Myers will we be seeing more Gorilla City this season if so how much more Ooh. 
Good question. David? I'm going with my theory that I said at the beginning of the episode. I think that Grodd is going to take over Grill City. He's going to be the smartest one there. I think I'm going to take still a little bit of what you said, Roca, and yep. he's going to meet Caitlin Snow over there. Yeah. They're going to team up. Killer Frost. I, I like think that. Zoom's going to get all of them. It's going to be a big war at the end. I mean, that'd be awesome. Right? All the all the grills coming over, Killer Frost, Zoom. It's going to uh-huh. be a big, epic battle at the end. I see it coming. Yeah, do you think that's going to bleed into a Legends of Tomorrow thing? Do you think it'll be Legends oh, of Tomorrow? Do you think, interesting. Do you think yeah. that's possible? Maybe that'll be one of their villains. Sure. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah. Definitely and, and possible. And bring in the Arrow people and yeah. then even bring in his uh, rogues. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, they're attacking Earth. They're not just right. attacking the good guys. They're attacking yeah. the whole planet. Right. So that's I, certainly possible. I think that they made such a big deal putting Gorilla City as the last thing we saw yeah. that it's got to come back oh, yeah. for sure. Absolutely. A lot Con- more. Yeah, no, I, I think we're definitely going to be seeing at some point, um, probably before the end of the season. Well, obviously, that's just a, a guess for me. Yeah. Um, and more than anything, I think Grodd is a fan favorite. Yeah. So we definitely want to see what's going on over there, you know? <laughs> well, they've done a fantastic job of giving us little things at the end of almost every episode that gets us even more excited to come back every week mm-hmm. and talk about this stuff. Mm-hmm. And they're doing it really well. Yeah, we've got our issues with some of the relationships or some of the dialogue or what have you, but the overall approach of the show, I think, is still on point as it was in the first season. And that Gorilla City was beautifully done. Mm-hmm. You know, as as beautiful as King Shark was was done in terms of the character and the design. You know, it was like the specificity and the strength of the of the portrayal. So mm-hmm. I thought that was awesome about Gorilla City, and we're definitely going to see that again. That's yes. good. we've got to go back to Grodd oh, at some sure. point. People love him too much. All right, and our last one. All right, last one comes from. I think it's Siri John Jones. Sorry if I messed up your name. Sure. Do you think Zoom could be Barry Allen from the '90s series played by the actor who plays Henry? So, so, so basically, essentially, is Barry's Henry, dad. Yeah, Barry's dad in Earth Two is Zoom. All right, who wants to take this one? Uh, well, I got my idea. That sounds like a Roka question. Yeah, I would I, say yeah, you take that no. one. <laughs> I don't think you it can, is. I no? still believe it's Joe. I think because Joe from, Joe. Joe from Earth 2 Joe from Earth 2 Yes, Joe from Earth 2 okay. huh. I think because A, it's an African American actor Doing the voice Tony Todd And then B, the speech pattern That Zoom has Is very reminiscent at times To Joe's speech pattern mm. When he's upset about something There, It's staccato It's it's choppy And the words are put together So I'm just like Ooh, this sounds right And the physical shape of him Is almost the same as Jesse Plus, I think, you know, we might sing or something. Mm-hmm. Jesse L. Martin's a Broadway <laughs> actor, so you never know. Uh, anyway, so who wants to take it next? I mean, it would blow my mind in a good way if it ended up being Barry's dad yeah. in another realm. And I kind of like that idea yeah. because it would totally, you know, Barry got messed up last season with trust. Imagine this, even though it would be a different, you know, father, essentially, it would still mess him up. Yeah. in a really interesting way leading up to a possible season three. I like the idea. I have no idea if um, I think that'll happen. But yeah. 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 And it would be suspicious that he keeps leaving and then Zoom shows up. He keeps leaving and Zoom shows up. He could even suspect his own He's dad. going camping. Yeah, well, he's, got a, he's getting fish. So he yeah. says. He's camping. So he says. What, what do you think, Wendy? I think originally... Uh, like up until like actually up until last night I thought that it would be Barry's dad because just how messed up would it be yeah. to uh-huh. lift up the hood of his you know worst enemy to be the face of his father yeah. but then I rewatched uh, last week's episode last night with my husband and I turned to him during one of the commercial breaks and I said I think Joe is Zoom because the way they're speaking is yeah. similar and he's hmm. like no I'm like yes definitely mm. I think so but either one whether it's Joe or if it's Henry Mind blown for yeah. Barry. Still a dad figure yes. that is betraying him, and it's very reminiscent to what happened last season with Harrison That's Wells. True. Another dad figure betraying him. What do you think, Dave? I think it's somebody we haven't even met yet. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go that far. I'm okay. gonna go because I think DC's planning for the the long game. This yeah. show is very successful. People love it. Yeah. So I think they're playing for the uh, way as ahead. I think it's gonna be a character we haven't even seen yet that might set something up for season uh, three. Yeah. So I think it's gonna be somebody we haven't seen yet. I have no idea who that person is. But I don't think we've seen them yet. <laughs> All right. right. I think it's great. Yeah. I think it's great. Right. I was on the CW Fan Talk this afternoon, and somebody brought up the fact that they think it might be Barry Allen from Earth 2, mm. so that Ooh. he'd have, like, who else would know better how to uh, fight Barry on Earth 1 than Barry mm. on Earth 2? 
all the same things, all the same patterns. He's just like, and it's also like kind of metaphorical having to confront the evil side of himself mm -hmm. with that power, you know? So who knows? Like Luke and Empire Strikes Back. Uh, all right, well, thanks guys for the questions. That was awesome. Once again, if you want to send us questions for, I guess not next week because we don't have a show next week, right? No. But the week after, so the, the week crossover. After, yeah, yeah the crossover. so make sure you tune in. Not going to be the week after. Yeah, people say, yeah, because yeah. we love to tweet back at you <laughs> yeah. guys. Just make sure you put the uh, hashtag Collider Flash and we will possibly read them on the show or we'll respond back to you on Twitter, which I think, as I said, we're all great at. All right, so that's our show. Uh, I just want to do one more roundtable thing. What do you expect for the crossover in two weeks? Like, what do you want to see? Kari, do you want to take it? Is there anything? Mm, I want to see, this is going to sound crazy, but I want to see Barry overpower Arrow. Wow. Yeah. You want to see them fight? Well, not really fight, but I mean, be have more say. Oh, oh, yeah. You know what I mean? More mm. say. Because a lot, oftentimes when they're together, Barry is kind of the underdog and kind of listens to what, um, I keep saying Amel, but uh, Oliver has to <laughs> yeah. say. But I, I want to see Barry come into his own and say, yo, this is actually what's going on on my end and like right. have them be more equal this time around. Well, that would make sense because he's been building his point of view and he's been more pushy this season than he was in the first season. Right. So that, that would make sense. But I am worried because um, Oliver is also accelerating his strength as right. well. Now yeah. he's the green mm -hmm. arrow, so... <laughs> Right. Yeah, the green arrow. Uh, <laughs> what do you think? I'm just really excited to see all the superheroes that we love team up together. Yeah. I am also kind of curious to see if maybe Patty will meet Felicity because Felicity oh, and Barry yeah. kind of have that thing, and they're actually, they're both kind of adorable. So I right. don't know. I just wonder if they'll even you know meet up in this episode. God, crossover. very big pimpin'. I, <laughs> big I'd pimpin'. be quite happy if they met up in that episode. Yeah. All right, uh, Ooh, David, <laughs> interesting. Um, I, <laughs> I'm, a big, I'm a big fan of both. Is all I'm, I'm saying. I'm excited for Hawkman and Hawk Girl. Yes. I mean, we've seen some photos. You know, yeah. we've seen the previews. It's coming. I want to yeah. see them in action. We'll see what's going to happen. I hope Cisco can still maintain a relationship with Cassandra. I hope yeah. that happens because she seems like a good it's girl. It's a CW show. There's obviously going to be. There's going to be a love triangle between Hawkman, Hawk, Hawk Girl, and yeah. Cisco. Yeah. Oh Cisco wins God. every single time. I love Hawkman, <laughs> but Cisco can beat him. <laughs> Shout out to Cisco for that great bait reference. I mean. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. what? That's that's a tough reference to make. Yeah. This kid watches a lot of TV. Let me just tell you, a lot of old TV. Uh, I want to see the Hawk Man, Hawk Girl, but I'm really interested to see how they do Vandal Savage, mm -hmm. and that they're fighting yeah. an immortal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An immortal. Yeah. That's going to be awesome because mm -hmm. sure. it's going to really test everyone's abilities and and like. It's going to be fun. If the writers do it correctly, it'll be mm -hmm. fun for us to explore how they work together and how they make their powers work together to attack someone like Savage. I don't like think Savage. Vandal Savage is such a unique and interesting he character. Is. It's going to suck if he's just a one-off. Right. And they defeat him and he just goes away. I hope Vandal Savage comes back. He's one of the more interesting... Like Whenever they do like the animated shows, like Superman yeah. or Justice League, the animated mm -hmm. series, and Vandal Savage comes in, yeah. he's so interesting. Yeah. And I hope they don't just get rid of him right away. That's why it gets two hours! That's right. That's true. That's true. <laughs> back to back. Back to back days. To me, he's, a, he's almost a more interesting Ra's al Ghul, in my yeah. opinion. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm. Well, thanks everybody for watching. It was a pleasure for us to bring this to you. Please tell your friends, tell everybody you know to watch the show, to tweet in, to comment on YouTube. We read, we try to read as much as possible as, as we can, and we love uh, to get as much eyes on the show as possible. Um, that's our show. Is, that, is, is there anything else? Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, where can people <laughs> find you? I keep forgetting to do this. I'm really sorry. Let's go around the table, and uh, where can people find you? David. Uh, you can find me at Griffin DE on Twitter. Also be here tomorrow talking about Star Wars Rebels, the recap show with uh, Campia and Christian Harloff. When? You can find me on Twitter and Instagram, just at Wendy Lee Zaney. And until next time, junk can't be a point. <laughs> oh, oh, dear. Hey, guys. You can find me right down there. Call Ori is K-A-O-R-I-O-U-S. I'm everywhere. Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat. And also I stream on Twitch.tv with that thing. And uh, also Walking Dead and Supergirl right here at the Collider Hoorah. Network. Uh, as always, you guys can follow me at The Roca Says, my homage to The Rock on Twitter and Instagram. Like she said, The Walking Dead recap show on Sunday nights and this show on Tuesday nights, which I enjoy what? doing. Uh, you, know, you can see you um, also far, far away on Geek Nation, cast of characters, top 10 show on Schmozno YouTube Podcast Network. Love doing all that stuff. Thanks again for watching. Now this is the end of the show. We'll see you all next week or December 1st. <laughs>